thank you. Now, before we get started, we have an amazing group of teams that have made it here to the finals. Four Einstein appearances right here this past year. Two additional teams made it to the finals of the division. So before we talk about each team, let's introduce each one separately and a little bit about them. Starting out, the Alliance captains of the number two alliance here today, 22 consecutive regional wins, never losing a regional. Not bad, huh? Three of those 22 come this year, three regional wins this year. Galileo division champions this year as well. Please welcome 2056. From Stony Creek, Ontario, it's OP Robotics. Their first selection has three district wins this year in Michigan. They are the district champions in Michigan. Archimedes division winners made it to the semifinals on Einstein. It's 1023. Out of Temperance, Michigan, the Bedford Express. The next selection on this alliance, winners at the Oklahoma Regional, making it to the quarterfinals in their division. Please welcome 1806. From Smithville, Missouri, it's SWAT. And the fourth team in this alliance as well, winners at 10,000 Lakes out in Minnesota, making it to the quarterfinals of their division. It's 2502. Out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota, Talon Robotics. Your Blue Alliance, the number three seed here today. Shouldn't need much introduction to start out with this team. Not only are they your world champions, not only are they the Newton Division champions, but three regional wins this year as well. Please welcome 118 from League City, Texas, the Robonauts. Their first selection. Two regional wins this year. Hopper Division champions losing to 118 in the finals. They're here together now looking for a win. It's 28-26 from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Wave Robotics. In the middle right here in the number two position, winners at the Seneca District, finalists at Mar Champs, and division finalists this year at championships, it's 1640. From Downington, Pennsylvania, Sabotage. And the last pick here on this alliance, winners of two districts out in Michigan. They've won plenty before and they were division finalists this year. Please welcome the legendary 67. From Highland, Michigan, the hot team. As in custom at first, before we start our finals, we need to congratulate these fantastic competitors with our handshake. So as these teams come across the front here, give them a huge round of applause for making it to the finals. Congratulations, teams. All these teams here are going to be going home with the trophy, but is it going to be the big one or the smaller one? Or do you get a blue, blue banner up on that wall? Not to mention free registration next year, too, ain't too shabby. So, ladies and gentlemen, finals match number one. Are you ready? Strivers, behind the line. Finals match number one in three, two, one, rush. All right, here we go. It's the finals. Here at IRI Autonomous. Both alliances successfully pulling a couple of containers over to their side of the field. Bedford Express dropping off three yellow totes. Wave dropping off those three yellow totes. And 
the container as well. So Blue takes a 28 to 20 lead in the autonomous round. We start teleoperator mode. Drivers now have control of the robots. Everybody moving, everybody stacking. Finals match number one. We're gonna play two out of three. So the first alliance that wins two matches is gonna be our champion. This is our first one. See who goes up one to nothing. Wave Robotics dropping one of their containers. That was the one that was actually meant to be on top of that stack of six. So tough break for them there. Meanwhile, two other stacks already put onto the blue side. We've got three stacks on the red side. Here comes number four by Pedford Express. Both alliances building up their stacks. Here comes number four for the Blue Alliance. Robonauts trying to move in place to put up number five as well. And getting a little wobbly there as they go over on the scoring platform, but they successfully do it. Meanwhile, on the red side, we've got five in place, another half stack and more coming. Under a half a minute left of this match already, coming down on 20 seconds. Six stacks over on the blue side. Seven and a half over on the red side. Under 10 seconds now. Five seconds remaining in the match. Three, two, one. And time expires. Sabotage, 1640, trying to get in possession to score. If the robot is not supporting that stack, it'll count, but looks like it may be supported by the robot. Referees are going to have to decide that one. Eight stacks, one questionable over on the blue side. Eight and a half stacks, some miscellaneous Totes over on the red side. Let's see who wins our first match here in the finals. Remember, it's not about averages anymore. It's just about who wins the match and goes up one to nothing. Referees seem to have their handle on it. They're going to submit it over onto the scoring table. Ladies and gentlemen, just a quick announcement. We are looking for Tim, the winning bidder of the Symbotics arm. Please come down to the scores table at this time. Tim, the winner of the 1114 Symbotics elevator arm, please come down to the scores table. All right, we have a score coming up, going up one to nothing. It is the Red Alliance. 
with a score of 336, 299 for the Blue Alliance. So red goes up one to nothing. We bring the scores back down to zero, and it's all about winning or losing. So if red wins the second match, they're our champions. If blue wins the second match, we go to a third rubber match. Moving it back up to Colin and Danny. Okay, finals match number one goes to the Red Alliance. They take a one to nothing lead over the Blue Alliance in the finals to become 2015 IRI champions. Danny, what pushed them over the edge there? Well, so they, they played a very, very clean match, and it looks like it's going to be the tail of the tape in that it may not be what you've done right that wins you IRI this year. It may be what your opponents have done wrong or the mistakes that were made. The biggest tell in that match was the container fell off of Wave's first stack. Uh, 118 came through um, very, very quickly and grabbed it. It was going to go place it later, uh, but they, they didn't get all the container points that they could have, and they still had uncapped stacks you know, at the end. So that cost them huge points. They do have the advantage, though, in having the better autonomous mode, but they're going to need to clean up those mistakes if they're going to want a chance to pull us to a three-match and you all win. Absolutely. Tough break there for the Blue Alliance. It is two out of three, though, so they get another shot. They can get a win. It's not based on just the score. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up, Karthik, if you listen to Tyler's podcast uh, earlier in the week, talked about 2056 being one of the most underrated teams in first you say how can a team that has won 22 straight regionals be undefeated or be underrated i mean you see it here they're the captain of this alliance they're up one to nothing they won last year's iri2 as the captain i mean it, this is a really great team that that they're just one step away from winning that world championship that i think will cement them up there oh absolutely and if people don't know 2056 if they don't know their backstory if they don't know you know the, the lore of 2056 and really got to do a little bit more research because they are one of the the most consistent teams i think i've ever seen in all of first they just don't lose 